Java builders. In our last video, we learned about the building blocks of Java, variables and data types. Today, we are rolling up our sleeves and work on variables and data types. Let's quickly open up our Eclipse IDE to understand these in more detail. Now, as we discussed, we need to first of all declare a few variables. Let's understand its syntax. We first add the data type and now we also need to give a name. Let's say I write it as my integer and we add a semicolon. Let's also declare a few other data types such as double. And here we will write it as my decimal. Let's declare something for care which says care my letter. And now last but not the least, let us also take something as a boolean. And let's say we call it as answer. Now, remember, whenever we are declaring a name for our variable, we need to make sure that we are following some good naming conventions. Whenever you write the name of a variable, make sure that you do using a camel case. Basically, if you are having two words, so the first word should be small and the second words start should be a capital letter. Make sure you do not have any space between your variable name. Now, that's how we simply declare our variables in Java. Now, we also need to assign a value to our variables. So let's see how we will do it. We will say my integer will be equal to 10. Now, the next one is a decimal. So we will say my decimal will be equal to here we need to assign a decimal value such as 3.14. Now, when it comes to character, let's first write its name of the variable. Now, remember, whenever you are passing a value which is a character, you have to write it within a single quote, just like this. Okay, and now last but not the least, if it is a boolean, let's say answer will be equal to true yeah now this was one way of declaring your variable separately and assigning values to it separately instead of doing it in two different steps we can also write it in just one single line of code let's try this out int number will be equal to 25 did you see that we simply clubbed two different lines of code into one single line of code. Now, let's quickly try to print the values of this variable. So, how do we do it? In order to print something, we need to write the statement system.out.println. Okay, we want every text of ours to be printed on a new line. Hence, we are going to make use of the print ln statement. Now, what do we need to print first? We need to print these variables out. So let's try to do it. Let's type it as my integer. Okay, let's quickly see what is the output of just my integer variable. It returns 10. Now, you must have observed that here I have not entered the double quotes. Let's see what will happen if I actually went ahead and added double quotes. Now, if I write it in this form, let's see what is the output that I'll get. See, it returned the value as my integer. Right? So always remember, whenever you put this double quotes, the value is always going to be printed as it is. This is actually a variable. So if you want to print the value of a variable, you should not be putting this double quotes with it. 
Just the way we did it, let's quickly go ahead and print our other variables. So here, our second variable is decimal. letter and here we have answer remember java is a case sensitive language so make sure that you cross check the spelling as you can see over here we have simply printed these values okay but i want also to print some text along with this variable uh, just like a case i want to say the value of my integer is 10. The value of my decimal number is 3.14. So here, what we want is a text to also be added along with my integer. In order to do that, we need to append my variable to some text. Let's quickly see how we can do it. So. Let's quickly remove these statements and let's see how this works. So let's say I want to print the statement out. Let's add the semicolon at the end. Okay, and now let's begin. So first we need to enter the quotes. I want to print the value of my integer number is colon and let's enter also a space now after this i want to print the value of my this my integer variable in order to do this we are going to make use of this plus operator this plus operator is simply going to append my text along with the variable now let's enter my variable okay Let's now see what my output is supposed to look like. Did you see that? The value of my integer number is 10. Now, since there is a spelling mistake over here, but since it was present within quotes, the computer is not going to return me any error. Let me just quickly go and manually solve this out. simply printed the value of my integer number is 10. That's how we basically print a text and also append an integer value to it. Congratulations! You have just declared, assigned values and printed your first variables in Java. In our next video, we will dive deeper into the data types and explore some of their properties. So stay tuned with us.